In a fiery speech at the start of Wednesday's special counsel meeting, Brown said he was leaving the office after six years effective Sunday. I reluctantly do so in an attempt to spare the city I love from becoming sideshow as fodder for the media and town gossips. Brown previously told council last week his intention to resign, with council also launching an investigation into possible misuse of the city credit card. Local 12 has previously obtained those credit card bills attached to a separate lawsuit over open records. Wednesday, council also voted unanimously to issue Brown a formal reprimand for misusing city property, most notably using the city snowplow to clear someone's driveway and receiving payment for it. Brown apparently took exception with some of those on council while hinting he may run again in November. Some of you shouldn't be allowed to vote, much less be in an elected office. I wish I could say I enjoyed working with you, but I would be lying. Brown declined further comment outside the meeting, saying he had said all he intended to inside. He issued his resignation in writing to all six council members, making it official. Walton Council now has 30 days from their next meeting set on Monday to appoint a successor for the interim until a special election can be held for the rest of Brown's term in November. In Walton, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And James will be following up on the potential fallout tomorrow afternoon here on Local 12 News, beginning first at 4. You can read his previous stories about the situation in Walton linked inside this story at local12.com and on our free Local 12 News app. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.